The myth of patient zero has been shattered. The Quebec man thought to be at the epicenter of the rise of the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s has had his name cleared. CTV's Brian Dunstan here with that story. Brian, what is this study telling us about Gaetan Dugas? Well, it's quite simply, it's telling us that 32 years after his death in 1984 from complications due to HIV AIDS, Gaetan Dugas, the French-Canadian flight attendant tagged with the dubious moniker Patient Zero, has finally had his name cleared. And this time it looks like it's for good. A study published in the October issue of Nature magazine concludes that Dugas was not the source for introducing the virus to North America. Suspicions that Dugas was at the center of a network of sexual partners first came out in a study in the American Journal of Medicine back in 1984. This new research, authored by Michael Warabay from the University of Arizona and Richard McKay from the University of Cambridge, found that the location of the initial outbreak was New York City not San Francisco as originally thought, and pinpointed that the AIDS virus had been circulating in U.S. borders since as far back as 1970. The new analysis also revealed that a sample of Mr. Dugas' blood taken in 1983 contained a viral strain that was previously infecting men in New York. Erin? Was there anything else that led the researchers to believe that Dugas was not patient zero? Oh, absolutely. There were quite a few things in the study that uh, debunked that claim, Aaron. Perhaps the most uh, salient is this. The researchers also reported that originally, Mr. Dugas was not even called patient zero. He was designated patient O, as in the letter O, for outside Southern California. That's where the original study began. Someone mistakenly read the O as a zero. And the rest now, thanks to this latest study, his, is history, Aaron. But this isn't the first time that that patient zero tag has come under fire. Not at all. No, Aaron. Back in November of 2007, an article in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found that the HIV virus was introduced from Haiti to, to the United States in 1969. And that appeared to dismiss the patient zero hypothesis but apparently, that did not gain as much traction as this new one, uh, the new study has. Aaron? CTV's Brian Dunson for us on this. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome.